Good morning, guys and gals. Welcome to the second part of probably a three-part video on the hood insulation install. Um, after doing some measuring, I've come to the conclusion that um, I need to lower this section right here that you see. This triangle area up front needs to be lowered a little bit to clear the radiator. Um, it's right in that way, and uh, I, I can see marks on the old uh, matting that um, that needed to be cleared. So I've come up with this shape. Uh, it's a little bit short everywhere around, which is uh, okay with me. Um, and then I'm starting to use these Chrysler-style uh, fasteners to hook this down. Now, I'm, I'm going to trim this edge up a little better here uh, when I get a little uh, better set of scissors, and I can... This thing doesn't scoot around. I've now got it in place where it won't scoot around so I can trim it a little nicer. Uh, maybe a razor knife, maybe uh, another different set of scissors. I'm not quite sure what I'm gonna use, but I'm gonna try to make this look a little nicer along here. Um, not quite sure how, but we'll, we'll tinker with it a little bit. We have a little bit of extra material there. Um, it's working out pretty good so far. This stuff has some rigidity to it. Um, the, the surface is relatively thick. And so it does hold its shape pretty good. Um, you know, not, not nothing too, as you can see, it's, you know, not bad. So I don't know how much droop I'm gonna have to have and be worried about, um, but we'll see as I, as I move along. If I think it's, it's not, I'm gonna turn it upside down and support it and see what it, how it does. Um, I initially were gonna, was gonna punch all the holes in with uh, a gasket punch set that I have. And, um, you know, that just, that, that just seemed like a whole lot of work. And, I finally realized there's no good way to transfer that information up, uh, so I came up with this. Um, it's nothing more than a quarter inch bolt. Let me get it out of the hole here. And the end is pointed a little bit. And you just put it in the hole, whatever hole you want to transfer. Material sits over top. Then you hit it with the hammer, and it marks... Uh, It makes a little divot like that, and now you're all set. You can pop that out, and you can put your fastener down through it. So I thought that was a pretty easy way to transfer all these uh, up. Um, I am using a, a Chrysler-style uh, fastener, as you can see here. Uh, they work pretty well. they got a nice, big, broad area to hold things in place. Um, while I was at uh, Detroit uh, Muscle Technologies, um, I picked up this stainless steel um, hood prop spring, which I thought was pretty good for him. You know, that's like eight bucks or something. Um, I will paint these uh, satin black here in the, in the days to come. Um, and eventually I may end up leaving insulation completely out of this bay. I don't know quite yet. Um, it all depends on how it fits up in there and, and what I can do. I'm going to put something in there to try to mark this a little bit when I put the hood back on and see what I have. Um, but... Um, I, I think I think I'm okay if I get it down at this lower level and I keep the ends down low and I keep you know I get I get a couple of fasteners in here to to hold this down tight I think it would be better so uh, but anyway a little <clears throat> a little uh, little update uh, a little bit on the progress you know I, it's one of those things that you know you don't want to ruin a, a fifty dollar piece of material but in the same token you got to go after it and get her done so um, I'm I'm starting to get there um, it's Tuesday. Take a little break. Um, actually, it's lunchtime on Tuesday. So, uh, but here it is. And again, like, share, um, do whatever you'd like. I really appreciate everybody's uh, attention to what I do. And, and, and I really like the fact that you're watching and keeping an eye on me here. Um, welcome to the channel if you're new. And uh, as always, guys and gals, keep them flying.